What's going on everybody? It's Blackjack. We're in serious mode here at Crystalline. Isn't this Leanna's home? We're all seated at the table for breakfast, except she's standing, so I don't know if we're all seated. Uh, the tension is taut in the air. Oh, spare me the theatrics. How could this be your dream? Don't you realize how dangerous it is to be a mage knight? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I do realize that. I live it every day. But at least, as a mage knight, I'm well equipped to take care of myself. I've been trained to handle danger. Uh-huh. He shakes his head. You can't be prepared for every circumstance. What if you get ambushed, outnumbered, or overwhelmed in battle? Oh, excuse me. What if your teammates fall and you're the only one left? Time to go commando. I'll just I'll just pull down my drawers and everybody will see under there and they'll go <gasps> and then they're all faint at the sight of it and they, there you go. Got him. So what if that does happen? How can we live life based on hypotheticals? What if I became ill? What if I couldn't bear children? Would you still force me to get married? But if those things happened, I wouldn't be able to fulfill my duty as a lady in the House of Dawn. Then what? How ironic that now we're worried and we were worried about hypotheticals there and here we are worried about hypotheticals about whether or not I'm gonna leave or not. Huh, Leanna? Next time on Crystalline, I'm a little less salty. No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's go. Her father scowls and waves a hand dismissively. That's not the same. Those are all based on chance. You aren't throwing yourself into situations which would allow those things to occur. Uh-huh. As a mage knight, you are walking into those scenarios every day. Leanna points a finger at Leon. Her voice is shrill as she tries to keep her composure. What about Leo, then? He's a mage knight who walks into danger every day. Why aren't you worried about him? He's got a penis. Because it's his responsibility to serve and protect as a man in the House of Dawn. That's code word for he has a penis. For once, Leanna's speech with silence settles over the table like a heavy blanket. Her mother stares at, the la at her lap as still as a statue. Leon opens and closes his mouth as he wants to speak but can't find the words to say. Her father nods. When do I cut into this? Now that you've come to your senses. We can discuss the details of the engagement. No. Damn! The rage returns to her father's face. How many times must we go round in this endless game? When will you accept your responsibility as a lady in the House of Dawn? You know, as I'm rehearing this dialogue, there's a lot of it where I'm kind of like, yeah, you're absolutely right. How many times, how many times must we go around in this endless game? Leanna's voice is scarily calm. If this is what it takes to be a Dawn, then I don't want to be a Dawn anymore. Yeah, by the way, you threw away the whole being a Dawn thing and then had second thoughts about us. Come on, Leanna. Then her parents laugh. Oh, shit. Fine. Shock spreads across Leanna's face. What? He shrugs. If you refuse to fulfill your responsibility as a Dawn, then you have no right to call yourself a Dawn. I right, bye. <laughs> This is also true. Well, yeah, because he didn't say that. No, this is right. Her father was mortified when Leanna suggested throwing away her family name before. Leanna, that isn't your dad. What? She looks around. Can she hear me? I try raising my voice. Think about it. Your father would never say anything like that. I'm trying to like raise my voice and also be respectful of the fact that there may be people sleeping above me. <laughs> she freezes. Yes, she can hear me. Don't you think all of this is strange? Sorry, am I, can she actually like see me right now? Or am I like just like a narrator in her head? Don't you think all of this is strange? Her head turns in the direction of my voice, but I don't think she can see me. Liana, are you listening to me? Oh, she's listening to me, the spooky ghost. She turns to face him. Her posture becomes straighter. I understand now. She shakes her head. I understand now. You are not my family. My father would never say something like that. She heard that from a spooky ghost. So obviously it must be true. And just like before, there's another blinding flash of light. It engulfs the room until it burns my eyes too much to keep them open. I cringe, shielding my face. I, I feel like I'm going to read that like three more times now. After a few moments, I feel the light slowly begin to fade. I open my eyes again. Leanne is still on the ground. And I'm on top. She got a gasp awake. Are you okay? I'm still on my knees, hovering beside her. Boo! I 
think so. Leanna lets out a deep sigh. I'm happy all of that was just a terrible dream. She shivers. I know that's not how it happened, but hearing it was still unnerving. I nod. She releases a heavy breath. Thank you. I nod. Leanna glances around. She must have spotted the others because her face furrows in concern. Are they okay? What's happening to them? I think they're trapped inside their own illusions. When I touched you, I was able to see and hear everything that was going on. I think we can help them too. She nods, still visibly shaken. Right. Do you notice how I first went to you? I could have not. You know, because there are other people here that could have just gone to Amy or, 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 or Zach. Or, or, or I'm better yet, Beth's girl. What about Kara? You, you should remember that I'm trying to get back together with you because the, the game's telling me to. I help her stand, and then we drag our way over to the others. And Zach is the closest. His face is surprisingly calm as if we just cuddled. Uh, sorry, if, if we just. If he just cuddled up the, uh, for an afternoon nap. Even so, I feel an impending sense of dread. What kind of illusion is Zach facing? I didn't hang out with him that much except for those times that we drank. May oh, that's why, because I don't remember any of them. I can't even begin to imagine some of the awful things he must have seen in his past as a mercenary. Or as a drunkard. Are you ready? Leanna nods. Together we bend down to touch his arm. There's that same low moaning sound, a flash of light. Leanna and I find ourselves at a campsite. A few silver stars wink overhead. The air is cool and calm. Fireflies blink in the distance. And really his worry is that Kara has feelings for him. And he doesn't know what to do because he's fucking him. Where are we? I'm not sure. There's an abrupt roar of laughter as we see turn around to see Zack sitting around a fire with a large group of people. They all burst into another wave of laughter and Zack joins in their merriment. I was expecting something darker, but he's actually happy. My stomach clenches. I'm not sure if that's worse or not. Zack glances over a few of his cards in his hands. I notice the others are hunched over their own cards. Damon, do you have any sixes? My heart gives an unpleasant twist. Oh. Worry crinkles between Leanna's brows. Save. Damon, that's his old mentor, right? Mm-hmm. I know, I remember some of the stories Zack told me about Damon at the end. He looks, just hum he looks just as humble and strong as Zack has described him to me. Damon chuckles. Not today, my boy. Mmm. Zack sighs and begrudgingly takes a card from the pile. Hey, Zack. You don't happen to have any sixes, do you? Zack frowns. Vera chuckles. He has the same bright red, uh, bright red hair, but he looks younger here. A few of the marks on his face look fresh, like he got them recently. Zack grudgingly hands over his cards. A grin sprawls across Vega's face. He places down several matches. Looks like I win again. The others throw their hand heads back and groan, but they're laughing. Zack shakes his head. You always seem to win. Cheater. Vega shrugs, feigning humility. What can I say? I'm just lucky. What can I say? I'm really good at feigning. Damon claps a hand over Zack's shoulder. Maybe next time, Zack. Zack smiles, looking appreciative. My stomach turns. Zack. This isn't real, dude. <laughs> Zack pauses. He lifts his head up and turns in our direction. What's wrong? He shakes his head. Nothing. I just thought I heard my name. Ooh, but you did! It was me! Oh, sorry, I didn't do the spooky voice. That's why he didn't believe me yet. Okay, Vayer laughs. Getting a little crazy there, Zack? A faint blush dusts his cheeks as sh he shakes his head. No, it, it was nothing. Lana frowns next to me. This isn't good. What if he doesn't want to leave the illusion? Or do you mean, Ooh, this isn't good! What if he doesn't want to leave the illusion? Hi, guy one. I guess nobody decided to voice act you. Hey, dinner's ready, you dipshits. Everyone perks up. Oh, great. I'm starving. One of the men passes everyone in the group uh, a bowl of soup. Just as soon as Zack is about to dig in, someone hands Vayer a bowl. It's twice the size as everyone else's. Zack Zach barely blinks an eye. You've got to eat up, Vayer. I can't have my star pupil going hungry. Vayer flashes Damon a sprite smile. Thanks. Damon takes a few bites of his soup. Oh, by the way, Zack. After we're done, you can clean up for the night. Zack blinks. Me? But I cleaned up the last three times. Yeah, but you're not a star pupil, so... Back you go to cleaning. Damon smiles, looking apologetic. Bear needs to have his strength to run point on the Crystal Rail mission tomorrow. Zack blinks. Wait. Zack's hell breath seems to leave his body. The Crystal Rail? Bear lets out a bitter laugh. What? 
Did you think you were running point? Ha! <laughs> Realization washes over him. Zack's face pales. That, that's not... He shakes his head. No, that doesn't make any sense. Zack looks like he's remembering. He hope flourishes in my chest. Let him come to the realization. Help Zack. Cut. What? You ran points on that mission, Zack. Not fair. Very betrayed you. Zach's, bur uh, Zach's burrow furrows is definitely what I was about to say. Zach's brow furrows. I know he heard me. I ran point on that mission. What are you talking about? Damon raises his eyebrows. Zach, you're not making sense. We haven't done the mission yet. In this world, Zach's eyes go dark. It's like his very soul has flown somewhere far, far away. No, we have. His grip tightens around his bowl. Damon's brow crinkle. Um, the other stare at him. What are you talking about? He lets out a nervous laugh. <laughs> You're starting to worry me. <laughs> Zack slowly raises his head. His eyes are bleak. No. Knees weak, mild spaghetti. There's another Eminem reference. His bang covers his eyes. This isn't real. Damon shifts under his gaze. What do you mean? Zack looks up. He seems to have trouble getting the words out. This was nice seeing all of you again. The group looks at him, but no one speaks. Zack stands up and brushes himself off. You're leaving? Yep. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm not living in the past anymore. Attaboy. He stares down at Damon. Damon finally smiles. Take care, then. Always. Gross. A bright light burst across our eyes. It's like a star exploded and filled the entire campsite. I flinch, throwing my arm over my eyes. The heat from the light gradually begins to decrease. I feel it start to dim. I lower my arm, a few bright spots blink in front of my nose. It takes a few seconds for my eyes to refocus, and I realize we're back in the temple. Zack groans, slowly hoisting himself up. He rubs his head. Lana's brow crinkles. Are you okay? Yeah. Despite what happened, he seems to be at peace. These illusions use our memories. A shiver runs down the length of my spine. How does this place know so much about us? Zack shrugs. He doesn't offer any answers. Lana, meanwhile, seems just as spooked as I am. I don't know. We better help the others before they slip further away. I say we save Kara for last. Uh, I nod. We walk a little further. Damn it. Her brown ponytail is sprawled out behind her. Her face is wrought like she's having a nightmare. She flinches as we crouch down. I notice Zack's jaw is tight. He reaches out and touches her shoulder, and Leanna and I follow suit. There's a flash of light, again. When it fades, I find myself standing between Leanna and Zack inside a small room. My decision is final. Huh? I look up. Zack is standing across from Kara with his arms crossed. Wait, what? I glance at Zack beside me and then back to the scene. Is that other Zack an illusion? Kara's eyes shimmer with tears. Why? What did I do wrong? You know exactly what you did wrong. Kara's face crumbles. Please, don't. She crosses her arms, hugging herself. Please. Don't pretend to be sorry now. You deserve to be alone. Yeah, that's definitely not Zack at all. What? <laughs> well, this is an image. Why? 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 There's the there's thumbnail for you. The real Zack's face curdles into a snarl. You bastard. Timmy, oh. He lunges forward and punches the fake Zack in the face. Ow! Wait, I thought we didn't actually have, like, bodies in the tree. Okay, whatever. He stumbles backwards, clutching at his nose. What the hell? Furry contorts real Zack's face. What is wrong with you? What? Who are you? Zack strikes again. Uh, strikes again. Hey, uh... Okay, no, I'm not drunk. That that line is actually there. Strikes uh, Zach strikes again, him again. So hard he read, <laughs> so hard he forgot how English works. He reels, uh, he his head reels to the side. Ow! Like hell, I'm gonna let you walk away from the greatest thing that happened in your life. Gross. <laughs> the other Zach rubs his jaw. His eyes stare wide at real Zach. I can see the shock and dismay in them. It's a weird look. How are you even doing this? Zack punches him again in response. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? Hey, Zack. Zack looks at me. 
Why are you hitting yourself? Shut up! <laughs> oh, that was great. It was totally worth it for that. Kara blinks. It seems as though she's just now beginning to process what's going on. She looks between the two Zacks. I can see the cogs turning in her head, piecing everything together. Finally, she smiles. A blush dusts her cheeks. I'm the greatest thing that has ever happened to you. Gross. A white light shimmers and blooms and sparkles over the entire area. Once again, we're taken out of the illusion and find ourselves back inside of the temple. Kara, all that was not real. None of that was real. He doesn't believe that you're the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Ahem, so, you know, don't... Zack growls and swings forward, his fist whistling through the air. He stumbles and writes himself at the last minute. Where is that guy? He rolls around, searching for him. Kara beams. She rushes over and throws her arms around Zack. Gross. Zack freezes. Kara snuggles, his, uh, snuggles her head into the crook of his neck. So? Gross. What? I'm the greatest thing that has ever happened to you. The Zack's face flushes ruby red. I only said that so you'd wake up. She continues to nuzzle him. Yeah, remember, it's all fake. Also, that's gross. No take back, Z's. He turns away still red, but he doesn't fight out of her grasp. I clear my throat. You guys... Amy. It's... It's like four years old. We, we, we probably should have gotten to her first. Kara blinks, noticing us for the first time, and her expression becomes serious. She steps away from Zack, but not before snatching his hand. Gross. He gives her, he gives her a confused look as she interlocks her fingers. Oh, even more gross. Come on. Let's go find Amy. We walk a little further along and find Amelia. She sprawled across the floor. Her face, usually a mask of calm, is twisted with something unpleasant. I frown, suddenly uneasy. Whatever Amy is going through, it doesn't look good. She's probably arguing with her parents over... No, no, no. She's probably arguing with the Mage Academy. Yep, that's probably what's happening. As soon as I reach out and touch her arm, that same white light, white light engulfs my vision. When it puffs out, I find myself back in Illumia. This is the end from Illumia, isn't it? I look around. Yeah. Let's get drunk! Nope, oh, shit. Well, okay. As soon as I say that, I click off. Greetings. I roll around. Amy is standing at the bar talking to Leanna. I blink. You're... It's not just me. Her eyes look darker here, right? Am I going crazy? Have I just never noticed that before? Her eyes look darker than normal. Right? Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I just haven't seen her face in a while. I don't know. Why does Amy see an illusion of Leanna? The real Leanna flushes. I don't know. Amelia doesn't seem to notice our presence as she continues. I am aware of the true location of Ember Mist. Okay. My mind starts racing. Wait. Ember Mist. A light bulb goes off in my head. This is the day we first met Amy, when she asked to join our group. Leanna nods, looking worried. Why would Amy's trial be something like this? You're just a kid. You should go back to the academy. It's too dangerous out here for someone your age. Maybe it's always been that way and I've just never really looked at her eyes this way. Or maybe it's just because her eyes are like wide, wide open. Amelia turns pink. She's already pink. Someone as young as her. Yeah. Yeah, she's like two years old. Realization washes over me like cold water. Everywhere Amy went, she was treated like a kid. The Academy didn't take her seriously. Yeah, because she's not even born yet. E even us, as a group, who always are always babying her. Is this Amelia's worst fear, to be seen as a child? I think you're mistaken is? about my age. I am a student studying to be a mage caster. I have received top marks in all of my classes. Alright, fine. <laughs> you're 14. The vague Liana laughs, shaking her head. Oh, that's adorable! Little Amelia gets top marks. Do you want me to give you a gold star sticker? You know, I only relate gold stars to two things, Kota Ibushi and lesbians. Uh, Amelia flinches as if fake Liana had just struck her. Pain flashes behind her eyes. I've never seen her look that devastated before. I actually, I randomly learned what gold star lesbian even meant about like six or seven years ago because i like heard the term before but like i never cared to actually learn what it meant and when i learned what it meant i was like wow i i didn't know that there were people that took so much pride into like specifically have never 
And so that's why it's just like, whenever I hear Gold Star, it's like, that's the first thing that pops in my head. But like, you know, if I go back to like my school days, it's like, oh yeah, you got a Gold Star. That is like almost completely erased. It would be a lot of work to protect you. I don't want to be a full-time babysitter while traveling. I like this Leanna a lot better. <laughs> Zach frowns as he sees Amy's distress. I'm, I'm joking, of course. He shoves Leanna towards her illusion. Punch her in the face. Go out there and punch your fake self in the face. Predictive sex blackjack. I mean, come on. I how did how did I get that right? How did I get that right? What? She stumbles, catching herself, and comes face to face with Amelia. Amelia blinks in surprise. Why are there two of you? Wait. Yeah, no, there is something a little different about her eyes versus the other one. Hold on, can the other one come up, please? The real Yana panics. You can see me? And her eyes just got bigger there, and I still, like, there's... There's something, there's something specifically different. Yes. I know what it is. Okay, here's what it is. So... In the real Amelia, aside the real Amelia, the the real Leanna, like you see that little white spot, like right there, that's present, and I've never noticed that before. Whereas in hers, her eyes are just kind of like a bleak, just like it's just like all one shade, I and mean, then it kind of drops down, and her eyes, like at the bottom, light up a little bit more too. That's what it is. I see it now. I ne I just I've never noticed that before. She's got like the blank anime expression, that's what it is. The fake Leanna gives real Leanna a strange look as if what to ask for, uh, ask what she's doing here. I wonder if, I, if that was the same case with like Zack and I just didn't notice it. Don't listen to this imposter, Amy. You're the one that came out of nowhere. Clearly, you're the imposter. Uh, no, I spotted out which one's the imposter. Amy pauses. Perhaps this is another trial. She taps her th chin in thought. There is really only one way to settle this. I'm pointing a gun. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, no, no. I don't want that. No, I know it's up to date. You can go away. Thank you. All right. Both Leanna stare at her. How? Each of you must attempt a flirtatious encounter. Oh, boy. The fake Leanna smirks. Oh, I knew I've always had a thing for the fake one. This will be a piece of cake. I refuse! Well, there we go. Lana crosses her arms. All right, let's get rid of the real one. Amelia doesn't even blink. She looks at the real Leanna and nods. I am certain of who the real Leanna is, and I will no longer believe the lies of the other one. Boo! The white light flashes instantly. It floods the room before fading away. Man, these spirits suck. <laughs> A few seconds later, we find ourselves back at the temple. As our, our revision refocuses, Leanna looks at Amelia. How did you guess which one was me so quickly? Really? <laughs> Karen interrupts before Amy can answer. Because you're a prude. At it, girl. That was that was Kara's hand. You didn't notice it. Like this hand came off screen. It just. Uh, Kara's black in this world, too. This is the real Kara. Anyway, uh, Leanna's eyes grow wide as she crosses her arms. I am not. <laughs> Kara snickers. Leanna looks at Zack, who shrugs. You definitely are. Attaboy. <laughs> Zack's also black in this world. Actually, in this world, everyone's black. <clears throat> she looks at me. Uh... She quickly looks away. My chest aches again with a fresh wave of pain. What I would give to feel her affection once more. But she, again, prude. Main character is also black um, in, in this world. I, again, I, why am I explaining this to you? You already know this. I shake my head, just shaking away these thoughts. Amelia, who was still on the floor, rises to a stand. She rubs the back of her head in thought. It is most interesting you were all able to join me in the same illusion. Was it the same for the rest of you? Not really. We nod. I see. Well, I mean, you weren't there. You were the last person, because apparently we just didn't give a shit about you. She still looks a bit bothered by what she saw in her illusion, but she crosses her arms. Perhaps it would be best to keep moving. I believe that was a temple trial we just encountered. We must be close to the heart of the temple. Yes. That's true. Normally after completing a trial, we'd be sent into the room with the elemental. 
Hey, do you guys see that? She points to a door. The carvings on it are rather intricate. I can see some more symbols and elaborate swirls and whirls. It's a deep plum purple standing out amongst the stone. Do we attempt to open it? Zach shrugs. It's not like there's another option. Let's go. On the next episode of Crystalline, we're going to take a quick break here. Um, just because we have to go through like all of the trials and dreams and whatnot. Um, and then we'll see what happens when we finally open that door. Thank you all so much. If you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and leave a like uh, down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. And don't forget to comment on what you thought about today's episode. Thank you again so much for watching. Goodbye. Good night. Oh no, my vision's all blurry and everything's black. What will I do?